So I run the Microsoft 685 yeah. Yeah. that was recommended by you. Yeah. So can you explain why you recommended okay. the Trim Microsoft 685 for my shop? Hi everyone, Justin Geach here with Master Fluid Solutions. Uh, today I'm in Pensacola, Florida, visiting Adam Booth, also known as A-Bomb 79. Justin, so one of the questions that I commonly get is, what coolant do I run? Okay. So I run the Microsoft 685 yeah. Yeah. that was recommended by you. Yeah. So can you explain why you recommended okay. the Trim Microsoft 685 for my shop? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's certainly no shortage of coolant selection out there. And you know, there's, there's three main categories of coolant. So you have your full synthetics, which are really solution synthetics. Yeah. Then you get into your low oil semi-synthetics. Then your high oil semi-synthetics, which is what our 685 is, okay. which is also a micro emulsion. And then you get into your soluble oils or emulsions. Okay. And it's really dependent on the oil content of each coolant. So your full synthetic has, has no oil. Your low oil, high oil semis, and then your full solubles. And typically, there's no industry standard that says over this percent of oil in the concentrate is a soluble, but typically it's around 50%. Okay. So your soluble oils typically are gonna have your most boundary lubricity because they're the highest oil content. And then you get into the um, extreme pressure additives, chlorine sulfurs, things like that. So the reason we selected 685 XT, or well 685 and our new version is 685 XT, is because it's a, it's a great multi-metal, multi-purpose job shop type coolant. And it's one of my favorite for machines that might sit extended periods of time or not run a lot of production, not get a lot of coolant makeup. Okay. The sump life is excellent. But you would never know that by looking at a website or a, a data sheet. So um, I, we, we know that because we've been doing coolant since the 50s. Yeah. But uh, I would strongly suggest you work with your coolant supplier, whoever that might be, to get their recommendations. You know, explain your operations, your materials, your cutting tools. Because depending on what you're doing, if you're doing a lot of large diameter form tapping in aluminum, you need a different coolant than high speed turning on an H13 part. Right. So it really depends on the operations. Uh, but I really like our 685, especially for your shop, because it <clears throat> it is that one coolant that fits everything. Right. And sump life is excellent. So yeah. maintain it properly, it'll last, it'll last a long time. So when you get into the next step of coolant, then you start getting into the EP additives and chlorines and sulfurs. So it kind of depends on the surface footage and operations and everything that you're doing. So work with your coolant supplier, but that's why we recommended Microsoft 685 for you. I grew up in the old job shop and all we had was just soluble oil. <laughs> soluble oil. And yep. you know, we just dumped it in it a bucket and filled it up with water. And when it <laughs> smelled, you'd get rid of it and fill, <laughs> fill it that's, back up. That's what I know. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, learning the proper techniques of our coolant and why it's important to run the proper coolant there is uh, it is really important and it's something that i've been learning a lot from you yeah great thanks